So here we are in the kitchen studio doing a pastry class tonight because everybody is scared to death of pastry, it seems like. So what better person to have than Joanne Yells, one of our favorite, favorite pastry chefs in the city of Toronto, probably the best. But you now are out of the professional kitchen and now working and teaching at George Brown. Yes. Uh, that's very How do you like teaching kids? I love teaching. Yeah? yeah? Much better than being in a restaurant. Much better than being in a restaurant. So what are, what are key elements then when teaching young people for the first time how to make pastry? Well, the first thing we teach them is how to measure. Measure. Hence measure. We got measure. all the, the... And actually at George Brown we do everything by, by weight. weight. That was the next question, which I think... So much more, why? Much well, more accurate? Yes, more accurate and then from one time to the next you have a much more consistent product. So I do everything by weight now, even at home. So well, and and so then the cookbooks then are all by cups, volume. Well, not all. They are Some getting better. Do you find they're 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 Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of um, and in uh, grams, not in metric. Right, in metric. Yeah. So we've got the the measuring. What else is key? Um, well, the ingredients and how to right. put them. Does your temperature of your hands, is that a myth, you know, when you're all, is that working with it, is that a... Well, yeah, I mean, I, I have taught people that claim they have warm hands, and yes. I actually watched someone, and they have barely touched the butter, right, it's practically melting in their hands, so... Is, so it, it's not a myth, it has, it has certain... It may not be, I don't know. So you got the flour, um, what kind of flours do you like to work with? Well, the home cook would use generally all the Right. In, at George Brown, we have different, we have bread flour, pastry mm -hmm. flour, it's, it's, and that you'd use in the industry as well. But actually what I use is a combination for mine. I've taken sort of a standard recipe. I'm not claiming to invent pie pastry, right. but play around with a little bit. So I have all purpose and cake flour. Yep. Um, Good. And uh, what else? Um, do you have do you have a go to recipe or do you have you morphed uh, it? Over? You don't have to do with the No, no, I have a several go to recipes. Yeah. Especially when it comes to tart, though, not so much a flaky though, but the tart crust. I'm always trying different ones, and different ones have different uh, qualities. And so is it good to have like a all buttery, flaky one, and then a, a different one like for savory and sweet? Do you use interchangeably? Well, that's or the debate. <laughs> do you short me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Sometimes. Butter. Do you? A butter? Yeah. I used to use shortening. Mm -hmm. I used to make a really oh. nice crust with mostly butter yes. and a little bit of shortening. And there is a reason that you would use shortening. Why? Well, it has a. It doesn't melt as quickly as butter, so okay. you can, it's easier to work with. And actually, that George Brown would teach the students when they're first making dough yeah. with shortening. Okay. It doesn't taste just because it's easier for them to it's work with. It's easier. It doesn't melt, and you do. Uh, you do get a flaky dough if you handle it properly, but um, it, it doesn't have any flavor. No. But that's a key element though, because I think a lot of people might then start with a butter uh, in their recipe. And, and it is difficult to work with yeah. if you're not confident. Right. And you I have think, to be fast. And, and that's it too. You have to be fast. Well, we're looking forward to tonight. And um, you're giving out recipes. I'm very recipes, excited. Yes. And the big question, when are you going to do a cookbook? <laughs> no? We live in hope that one day Joanne will have a cookbook. Thank you.